Hey everyone, today we'll examine how air circulates in a 2014 Corolla with and without recirculation. Let's turn the blower on and follow the airflow. Most car models take fresh air in from a grill below the windshield and it comes in through a vent that brings it to the cabin air filter. Once the air is filtered, the blower motor pushes it through the climate control system to cool it down or warm it up and then air flows into the car through the selected vents. For air to enter, some air must also exit at the same time, so most cars will have a hidden body vent, usually located at the back. On this Corolla, it's hidden in the trunk, and with the blower on maximum speed, there's a strong airflow exiting the car. So this is great for ventilating the interior. However, if the outside air is very hot or polluted, we can reduce the amount coming in by turning recirculation on. So let's turn it on now. And on this model, that causes the recirculation flapper to move and limit the intake vent while opening up the way for cabin air to flow back into the filter housing. This mechanism can vary significantly between car models, so the degree to which the vent is blocked will also vary. Now the air that's already in the cabin can flow back into the filter housing to be recirculated and significantly less outside air will be flowing in. Here's the body vent one more time with recirculation turned off. Here it is with recirculation on while the car is parked and now while driving at 60 miles an hour. The faster the car is traveling, the more outside air tends to leak in since typical cars are not airtight and air can seep in through door seals and other openings. In some cases, prolonged recirculation may cause CO2 levels to rise, so it's important to balance fresh air intake to maintain optimal comfort and air quality. If you found this video useful, please make sure to press the like button and consider subscribing. Your support is really appreciated. Thanks for watching.